Hey, let me show you how Dash Zero can level up your observability game. Here you are seeing how services are communicating and how they are generally doing and see some fundamental statistics about them, like requests, errors and duration, the red metrics. We however believe that you always need context to get the job done. Context that can be powered by open telemetry and that's what we truly believe in, among others because of their super powerful semantic conventions. So one of those contexts is infrastructure. So what is the availability zone in which this service is deployed? Is it just one? Is it multiple? What are the runtime versions of that service? And whatever you see, how about easily filtering for it with a click of a button? Of course, we're showing you the operations that are provided by that service and how they are each individually doing and how many replicas there are. And also interesting things right away. Hey, this replica is not getting any requests and we should totally take a look at that. Now, you can of course take a look at spans and logs. And we're showing you nicely how the latency is distributed over time and whether there were any errors there uh, in logs and both in spans. And you could try to find those patterns manually or you leverage alerting to be informed about those proactively. And now from here, you can click around, but how about we use our awesome keyboard controls to get to the location we want to be? Hey, how about we want to look at spans for the ad service? We do that just through the keyboard. And now that we're here, how about focusing on errors? So we start by looking for status code error. Cool, done. And now here again, we have this nice heat map telling us there have been errors consistently over the whole time frame. So it's a systemic error. So let's carry on, right? Within that table now, we see all of the spans that were erroneous of the service. And we can just dive in to see a small part of the trace. So everything that happened as part of the get ads call. We can see that the problem started at the get ads level and we can open up the sidebar to get much more detailed insights. Both the context and as part of which this call has happened, how the latency stacks up, all of these span attributes, and their zero is even going a step further in helping you understand what do those numbers mean. So what is number eight in gRPC? And it's giving you documentation as well. Now, of course, you can go to the trace view to see all the glory details. Um, and let's say we're interested here in the end where there were some error logs. Cool, so error logs, warning logs, nice. So their zero is pulling the information together. You can see all of that also in the events and logs tab. And from here, you can go to logging. You can jump around back and forth, right? Also from logging, you can go back to tracing. And did I tell you that this is all powered by open telemetry, even showing you the source data, highlighting semantics and what it all means in order to help you get the most out of your open telemetry strategy. Now, of course, there's zero does way more than that. Of course it does metrics. So you can get an awesome metric catalog that is helping you understand what kind of metrics are you collecting and how much is this going to cost you, right? How many data points is it generating? What is the cardinality of that data? Now, of course, we're not nearly done here. We have a lot planned for this area. And of course we do alerting based on metrics, right? And here's the cool thing. You can also query spans and locks and resource data via PromQL. For example, here we are in the dashboarding area. And what you're seeing here at the bottom is that we're querying spans. So that means you don't have to materialize everything as a metric. You can do this ad hoc. And this is truly, truly powerful. And because it's PromQL, it integrates nicely with Perseus, the Kubernetes autoscaler, or even Grafana, if you wanted to. This is the true power of Dash Zero, and we hope that you will give it a try. And if you do want so, click the button up top.